<laughs> right? To excite our eyes. That's all I can put it in English. I'm sorry. Don't put confidence in my English. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Webia and welcome to day 12 of our gratitude series. And in this video, we are going to be talking or thanking God for entertainment in general. So for music, for movies, for skits, for every entertainment platform that we have had to G our eyes, G, G N E, <laughs> right? To excite our eyes. That's all I can put it in English. I'm sorry. Don't put confidence in my English. Anyway, so we are just thanking God for all those things. There's a popular saying that when we sing, we pray twice, which I believe is, is amazing. And I'm speaking in this context for those people that listen to good genre of music. Don't go and listen to anything. Come and tell me you pray twice. Pray to who, right? But we just want to really thank God for all these things, these various sources of entertainment. You can't have a party without good music to dance. So I believe that this is one of the ways that we used to entertain ourselves. We go on movie dates, movie shows. It's a great form of entertainment. We go out to hang out. We play games. Did I say we go out to hang out? But we go out to play games, to hang out, and stuff like that. And all are different forms of entertainment. And we really want to thank God for that. So just lift your voice and just thank God. Both for the kind of entertainment you enjoy. And the ones that you don't really fancy, but other people enjoy. I mean, you don't want to be selfish. Okay. You just want to lift your voice and thank God for every form of entertainment. Lift your voice and thank Him. You can pause this video and just thank God in a second or a minute for every form of entertainment. Now, for your action points. In these action points, I want to admonish you even as... I just help you to list your action points and see how you can go ahead to make good use of the kind of entertainment that you have available. I am very particular about the kinds of things that people consume. When I say consume, not necessarily food, but what they watch with their eyes, what they hear. Because your eyes, your ears are like channels into your heart. The Bible says that it's out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. The same Bible says it's out of the heart that flows the issues of life. It's what you hear and what you see that goes into your heart, that goes into your soul. So I want you to take particular or pay particular attention to what you feed your eyes with. What do you watch? What do you listen to? Sometimes we don't have demonic attacks because of some ancestor that are going to cut covenants on your behalf. But sometimes the attacks we get are based on the things we watch. There are some dreams that we have had that has been triggered because of the things that we watched or the things that we engaged in, or the kind of things that we called entertainment. Always remember that whatever God brings forth, the devil tries to pervert it. So he has brought good music out, but they'll change the music to something profane, or something that is not beneficial to your soul. And then when you consume it, Satan just has his way of doing things. I don't even want to call them miraculous, but he just has his way of doing things. He just has his way of capitalizing on things. So I just want you to be careful. Sit down. Ask yourself, how can I stop consuming content that will not help me? 
even with the skits that we watch, even with the movies that we watch, there are some that condition our minds to think a certain way, condition our minds to act a certain way. The funny thing about about some of these things is that they are very subtle, so you don't really see them coming, but before you realize, they have gotten you. So I just want you to sit down and ask yourself these questions. Take your time and just do some introspection because it's not every content that you're supposed to be watching. And always remember that if you don't have kids right now, someday you're going to have kids. If you have kids, good for you. But someday you're going to have kids. If you, as an adult right now, you can't guard the things you watch, what makes you think that you'll be able to guard the things that your kids will be watching? So you need to be careful, right? So it is an era of media. We can't say that, oh, stop watching. But you, you just have to take conscious steps or make conscious efforts to be mindful of the things that you watch, right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Go about this day blessing God for these things that we have. And ask him the ways that you can do good or be be good or be faithful with these things that he has entrusted to us, right? Because everything we have, we are going to account for it one way or the other. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like this video. Turn on post notification. Tell everybody you know that I have a YouTube channel. And I'll forever be grateful to you. Bye, guys.